Good morning students. In our last program, we have learned electric circuit components, their symbols, closed circuit and open circuit. Today, we will learn heating effect of electric current, electric fuse, magnetic effect of electric current, electromagnet and electric bell. Now, let us come to heating effect of electric current. Students, here we will do some activities in which an electric current produces heat. For activity number one, the materials required are a cell, a switch, connecting wires, two nails and about 10 to 15 cm long piece of nichrome wire. Let us start this activity. I have already placed the cell, wire and switch. Now I am connecting the nails to both the ends of wires that is one positive terminal and one negative terminal. Then I am connecting the nichrome wire to the both the nails. Students you can get nichrome wire from an electric repair shop or you can use a piece of discarded coil of an electric heater. Before putting the switch on, touch the nichrome wire. Then put the switch on and leave it for few seconds. Students do not keep the switch in the on position for a long time. Otherwise, the cell may become very weak quickly. Alright, let us come back to our activity. Before going to touch the wire, disconnect the current or put the switch off and quickly touch the wire. Oh yes, it becomes so hot. Now you may compare the temperature of this wire when you touched it before an electric current passes through it. The wire gets hot when an electric current passes through it. This is the heating effect of electric current. Activity number 2. For this activity, I have taken an electric cell, a switch, connecting wires and an electric bulb. I have made a circuit for this. Students, before going to put the switch on, touch the bulb. It is as the room temperature. Now, put the switch on and leave it for few seconds. Students, you may have noticed that when it is switched on after connecting to the electric supply, their elements become red hot and give out heat. Let us come back to our activity. Switch off the switch and let us touch it. Yes, it become warm. An electric bulb is used for light, but it also gives heat. This is not desirable. This results in the wastage of electricity. This wastage can be reduced by using fluorescent tube lights in place of the bulbs. Compact fluorescent lamps, certainly CFLS, also reduce wastage and can be fixed in the ordinary tube holders. Students, remember one thing, the amount of heat produced in a wire depends on its material, length and thickness. Thus, for different requirements, the wires of different materials, different lengths and different thicknesses are used. Electric appliances such as immersion heaters, hot plates, irons, geysers, electric kettles, hair dryer, etc. When connected to the electric current, it produces heat. Now come to electric fuse. If a large current passes through a wire, the wire may become so hot that it may even melt or break. But is it possible for a wire to melt or break? Let us check it out. In this module, I used battery instead of a cell and instead of nichrome wire, I tied a thin strand of steel wool. 
The steel wool is commonly used for cleaning utensils and is available in grocery shops. If there is any fan in the room, put them off. Now I am putting the switch on. Observe the strand of steel wool carefully. It breaks. Wires made from some special materials melt quickly and break when large electric current passes through them. These wires are used for making electric fuses. In all buildings, fuses are inserted in all electric circuits. There is a maximum limit on the electric current which can safely flow through a circuit. If by accident the current exceeds this safe limit, the wires may become overheated and may cause fire. If a proper fuse is there in the circuit, it will blow off and break the circuit. A fuse is thus a safety device which prevents damages of electrical circuit and prevents possible fires. These are the images of different type of fuses. We observed the heating effect of electric current and learnt how we used it in our advantage. Does the electric current have also other effects? Let us check it out in this activity. Take the cardboard tray from inside a discarded matchbox. Wrap the electric wire a few times around the cardboard tray. Place a small compass needle inside it. Now, connect the free ends of the wire to an electric cell through a switch. Note the direction in which the compass needle is pointed. Bring a bar magnet near the compass needle. Observe what happens. Now, while watching the compass needle carefully, move the switch to the on position. What do you observe? Does the compass needle deflect? Move the switch back to the up position. Does the compass needle come back to its initial position? What does this experiment indicate? We know that needle of a compass is a tiny magnet which points in north-south direction. When we bring a magnet close to it, the needle gets deflected. We have also seen that compass needle gets deflected when the current flows in a nearby wire. Can you connect the two observations? When the current flows through a wire, does it behave like a magnet? This is what a scientist called Hans Christian Oersted also wondered. He was the first person who noticed the deflection of compass needle every time the current was passed through the wire. So, when electric current passes through a wire, it behaves like a magnet. This is the magnetic effect of the electric current. In fact, an electric current can be used to make a magnet. Do you find it too surprising? Let us try it out in this activity. Take around 75 cm long piece of insulated flexible wire and an iron nail say about 6 to 10 cm long. Wind the wire tightly around the nail in the form of a coil. Connect the free ends of the wire to the terminals of a cell through a switch. Place some pins on near or the end of the nails. Now switch on the current. What happens? Do the pins cling to the top of the nail? Switch off the current. Are the pins still clinging to the end of the nail? The coil in this activity behaves like a magnet when electric current flows through it. When the electric current is switched off, the coil generally loses its magnetism. Such coils are called electromagnets. The electromagnets can be made 
very strong and can lift very heavy loads. Do you remember the crane about which you read in chapter 13 of class 6? The end of such a crane has a strong electromagnet attached to it. The electromagnets are also used to separate magnetic materials from the junk. Doctors used a tiny electromagnets to take out small pieces of magnetic material that have accidentally fall in the eye. Many toys also have electromagnets inside them. We are quite familiar with the electric bell. It has an electromagnet in it. Let us see how it works in this activity. In this electric bell, it consists of a coil of wire bonded on an iron piece. The coil acts as an electromagnet. An iron strip with a hammer at one end is kept close to the electromagnet. There is a contact screw near the iron strip. When the iron strip is contact with the screw, the current flows through the coil which becomes electromagnet. It then pulls the iron strip. In the process, the hammer at the end of one strip strikes the gong of the bell to produce a sound. However, when the electromagnet pulls the iron strip, it also breaks the circuit. The current through the coil stops flowing. Will the coil remain an electromagnet? The coil is no longer an electromagnet. It no longer attracts the iron strip. The iron strip comes back to its original position and touches the contact screw again. This completes the circuit. If current flows in the coil, the hammer strikes the gong again. This process is repeated in a quick succession. The hammer strikes to the gong every time the circuit is completed. This is how the bell rings. So students, let us summarize what we have learned today. Heating effect of electric current, electric fuse, magnetic effect of electric current, electromagnet and electric bell. So my dear students, I hope you enjoyed this chapter with me. Thank you. Thank you.